What is up everybody? And welcome back to my channel, In Sense. We are back with another video and damn, it feels good to be back making a video for my little subscriber family. I appreciate all of y'all. But of course, before we get into that, we had a, a couple new subscribers. So let me fill y'all in. Once we reach 1.3K, I'm gonna be giving these away to a lucky subscriber, all right? Taboo and Reflection of Greatness. I wasn't a big fan of it, so I'm gonna let somebody else enjoy it. I'm sure y'all wouldn't mind a giveaway, a free giveaway at that. Y'all can trade it. If y'all like it, y'all keep it, right? There you go, 1.3K, that's the giveaway. But today, we have a review on a fragrance that Masam spoke so highly about. He says this is one of his favorites from the last drop. So you know what I got to do? Of course, I got to review it for my YouTube family. Here we go. Beach vibes. Hashtag beach vibes at that. But before we get into that, if you're subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And if you are new to the channel, you just happen to stumble upon this video somehow and want to get into Dua but don't know where to start, this channel here, we cover everything Dua. We love to have you. So make sure y'all subscribe, like the video, leave some comments, turn on that post notification on while you at it so you don't miss none of my videos. All right. I think I wore this maybe the third time or second time. When I got the shipment in. And I got to agree with a few people in the Facebook group and Mega Dave also. Phenomenal scent, okay? But the issue here is performance. It just doesn't perform up to par. And I don't know why. This is amazing. Maybe it'll get stronger over time when it macerates, but for now, it becomes a real skin scent, like, not even eight hours. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's get into the review. All right, Beach Vibes. Inspired by Louis Vuitton on a beach. This fragrance here is supposed to mimic California beaches. They came out with another one that's similar to this. Um, I can't think about the name right now, right off the top, but I do have a review on it. And uh, California Dream, that's what it's called, the Louis Vuitton version. Um, I got to look into the dual version. I forgot the name. I haven't worn it in a while. The first one, the both bottles are similar for Louis Vuitton on these two releases. It's like a pinkish blue. The second one was on the beach. The first one was obviously California Dream. And that one was a little bit more powdery, I'd say. Yeah, more powdery scent type of vibe right there. This one's more fresher. And uh, man, if y'all live in Cali and this remnants Cali in some way, I want to visit one day. I've never visited Cali. I got to take a visit out there one time. Maybe when this channel gets monetized and we start seeing cash flow, we'll do a trip to Cali and we'll, we'll vlog it for y'all. Should be fun. But enough talking. I'm talking too much. I'm rambling too much. Y'all came here for the fragrance. All right. So. It is categorized as a citrus aromatic. The notes are yuzu, neroli, pink pepper, rosemary, sandalwood, thyme, clove, and cypress. This opening, you're going to get yuzu and you're going to get neroli. All right? The yuzu is what's going to give it a nice lemony type of feel to it with the neroli making it fresh. So this is a citrus fresh in the opening. In the middle of the fragrance, you're supposed to get the sandal cord, the thyme, the clove, um, 
all these rosemary herb, herbal type of uh, nuances, if you want to call it that. So sander cord is not really a sander cord. I made my, my, my study on this a little bit. Sander cord, Louis Vuitton says, sander cord, but it's mostly the herby type of vibe that you get from it. Of course, from the rosemary, the pink pepper, the thyme, the clove. That's what gives this fragrance in the base, uh, herbaceous type of feel. And of course, in the dry down, you're going to get the cypress. Cypress is going to give it a nice woody base to it. A finale, if you want to call it that. But uh, this fragrance don't seem to last on me. The beach vibes. All right. I get about six, about five to six hours. And then it's like a real skin scent. It barely lasted from there. And um, I'm sure it'll change with time, but right now, I get five to six hours. With the projection being at about an hour to hour 20 minutes on a projection in a sillage. This leans mm, unisex to me for some reason. It says unisex here. I feel like women and men can wear this. It's ruthful. Um, all ages can wear it. It's great for summer. Great for Cali, if you live in Cali, obviously. They say sometimes it get nice and chilly over there, which this fragrance does that in some way. It gives you a fresh type of vibe, as same as the summer. So you get both in one. If I had to rate this fragrance, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. This serves a pickup, if you haven't yet. That's my take on it. I appreciate all of y'all for coming in and checking out another video. Short and simple. Have a good one.